All right. Beat up a harpy. I wish there was more like background sound. I'm just in a menu and I go on break. To come back, I'm like, man, it's quiet. A pretty big area. Fragments of our mind. I dodged in time. Oh, I didn't mean to use the potion. Man, even just one of these is kind of tough. Although I did get like a clouded eye thing. Oh, I've had a few. I have a few of these. It's fine. Nine, 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 nine. I can hold nine, 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 nine of these. I wonder how grindy that stuff can potentially get. Oh, I can press the attack button to make that longer. Hmm. There's an item this way. When I eventually get like all of them, how is that gonna work with the cycling? Do I just go in a circle? Can I just like hold L2 and pick it? Like a wheel shows up? Can I only pick like two at a time to switch between them? He's in there. I know it. He who? Gar is Garuda a he? I assume Garuda was a she. Okay, well, we're, we're doing some shopping real quick. You see, it's just like I told you. Everyone pays it back. But how did you escape the care? Where was the shop? Oh. The hymns of Gregor, and thus did Gregor summon together her two and seventy spirits of light. Two hundred and seventy? 
and tell them of the holy heralds she would send to the world below, where there was much strife and suffering for which she wept. Rejoice, she said, for my heralds, who are part of me and who are me, shall be as bread unto the starving and as water unto the thirsty, and shall bring light where there is only darkness. My children. Weep not, my children. <laughs> Where the fuck is the shop? Where am I? Oh my god. How am I going the... How did I go to the complete wrong fucking... I swear I was like here. And then I went left. I swear that's what happened. Or I was... I... Somehow I ended up on the other side by a church. Where the fuck am I? How is this? I don't understand the layout of this place. I'm so confused. Any friend of the innkeeper is a friend of mine. Hmm. An upgraded version of this. Would probably be pretty good. I mean, this is just straight up better. Minus three HP. But three HP is pretty, like, whatever. I hope it's to your liking. I trust it's all here. Ah, yes. You're always welcome here in Lost Wing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Benedict is dangerous at the best of times, Clive. And these might just be the worst. new thing is there. It's got some new stories for me or something. Look what the curl dragged in. Going purse weighing you down. She has all the same stuff. Come again. Oh, don't. I'm not much bothered either way. Make it quick. What's that for you, dear? Okay, this is crafting. I should do upgrading. Because I have... It's probably cheaper. It absolutely is cheaper on like the cheaper. My best work. On like the, yeah, the more common materials. You can find me later. Okay, that dark sand. My best work, but it'll do. Valley Matter. Could I buy that? I think I could buy that. Yeah, that should do you. You can find me later. Okay, uh. Yeah, I just need a Valley Matter. That it? Fine. If I can't buy it. From Karen. Yes. I buy it from that what? uh the Lost Wing shop. Go on, then. Assuming I can find it again. Is that all? And what's 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 up with with this thing? Oh, is it just telling me there's a new new arcade thing? Okay, okay. Collect forgotten items, earn XP and AP, or retry missed achievements. That's good. No permanently missable anythings. That's good, because people hate that. Do you think we should go and help? The only reason why I don't Sounds hate like hate it is because I grew up read. with don't that. I grew up with permanently missable we'll items. You to work on the ledges too. And I kind of just got used to it at a young age. So now I'm Have like, yeah, whatever. Or perhaps it is bad, though. I recognize it's bad. Oh, level two anal. Oh, I'm, fascinating excerpt I've been meaning to show you. I'm not an analyst anymore. If 
Palestine calendar, the dating system used throughout the twins which marks the year of the realm that have passed since the signing of the Continental Accord some 800 years ago. In the centuries since, nations have risen and fallen and the concord between them has faltered, but the calendar persists. And Aegis? 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 Dating back to antiquity, the term Eegai? Eggy? I'm gonna say Eggy. Has historically been used to describe those ethereal entities that can be conjured by dominance. Eggies are capable of casting potent magics corresponding to the elemental alignment of their creators. Though unquestionably formidable, they will fade immediately should the dominant, dominant who gave them gave them being happen to be slain. If you have a question for me, I should be happy to answer it. A man named Margrace, a mysterious man that many believe to be a dominant of fire. He is rarely seen without his heavy robe, nor his loyal attendant. The two journey together far and wide across the realm to an unknown end. New thing with the intelligencers. Unlike Walud's main battlefield forces, whose orders are usually issued by the Lord Commander, the intelligencers are reported directly to the king, or at least they did, until their dissolution in the aftermath of Sid and Clive's surprise attack on Cairn Norvent. Semi-priming. The act of a dominant calling upon a part of their icon's power without fully transforming into the legendary beast itself. It does not require nearly as much ether as to fully prime, taking less of a toll on the dominant's flesh. Upon semi-priming, the host takes on some aspects of the icon, sprouting wings or becoming clad in stone. The Eye of the Tempest, a raging vortex born upon Benedicta Harmon's descent into madness and loss of control over her icon, Garuda. Its power is such that not only are entire villages swept up by its passing, but the very ground beneath it is gouged and disfigured. Interesting. Maybe it's just do some beast cheery. Phoenix, the Warden of Fire, last seen on the night of the Imperial Invasion of Phoenix Gate in the year 860, when the young Josh jo I remembered it right, it was Joshua. Joshua Rossfield lost control of his powers. The Phoenix first awakened among the moats of fire, an ancient tribe who dwelled dwelled in the western reaches of storm. And the careful preserva preservation of bloodlines among the Rosarian nobility ensured that its dominant would always be born in the Ducal line. Shiva, the Warden of Ice, of whom Jill Warwick is the current dominant. With her glacial aspect and ability to conjure boreal bo boulders from the ether, Shiva's appearance on the battlefield makes her enemies' blood run cold. Garuda, the Warden of the Wind, who Benedicta transformed into during her ill-fated flight from the Empire. It takes the form of a fearful harpy, summoning storms and tearing into the flesh of its prey with hawk-like talons. Such is the icon's frenzy for destruction that even allies of the dominant of the day are wont to begin fleeing the battlefield when dark clouds gather overhead. Charada, an ether ethereal conjuration summoned forth by Benedict Harmon when Clive encountered the dominant of wind near Lost Wing. Despite their size, the creature's heavily feathered wings did not seem to hamper its movement, which was disconcertingly nimble. More so than speed, though, it was Charada's way of array of powerful magics that set it apart from lesser foes. Suparna, an ethereal creation of Benedicta Harmon, dominant of wind. When summoned in care nor vent alongside her twin Charada, the pair worked in tandem to attempt to overwhelm Sid and Clive, wielding, wielding a panoply of potent magics and deadly aerial assaults. I'll do one more because my voice is starting to hurt. Whenever I do this, like, rapid fire, it's just like, my, my throat's like, eh, eh. Uh, uh, a gigas, or gigas? As they are oft witnessed in the presence of goblins, many believe these lumbering brutes to be goblins themselves, albeit ones that have grown to prodigious size. Scholars, however, deny these claims and insist the two tribes are independent and their relationship a symbiotic one, with the Gygus providing protection to the, to the slighter goblins who, in turn, provide the craftless giants with sundry arms and vestures such as the charnel carcinets created from the bones of their victims. I have no idea what charnel carcinets are. The spread of the blight has seen both tribes impinge on human territory with increased frequency, and recent spottings have put them as close to civilization as three reeds in Rosaria. The door to the shelves shall ever be open. Shall ever be open. 
Okay, I gotta go back to Lost Wing. Buy the item, come back, upgrade it. Then we'll go fight the Garuda. Now, if I can just find my way to the actual fucking shop, like, faster. <laughs> I originally went see, this like way. I oh, and then I went upstairs. Because I went the that way. Someone's started a fire. Oh, but it's right fuck oh it's this way. I thought it was like over there. You haven't much, but you're free to look. It doesn't only cost twenty. Find ten. I hope it's to your liking. I'm gonna buy another meteorite too. Ah oh, yes. I got plenty of gill. I mean, it's the same color as Meteorite, so I was like, oh, it might be a little expensive. It costs 20. That's nuts. I see I'm busy here. So, will it be? Not my best work. But Excellent. I have the best gear that I can possibly have. That it. Fine. Hey. What's nearby activities? No, oh, nothing for now. Okay. The Eye of the Tempest. Born of the darkness, buried deep within a broken Lady Benedicta. The Eye of the Tempest is an uncontrollable vortex of immense proportion fed solely by Garuda's raw fury. <sighs> Looks like we're pretty close to, like, another city. With a mother crystal and everything. Like, how is my hair, like, so perfectly like, pink? I was wearing a toque a lot earlier today, because it's cold in the house. Wait! Live. What's that? The Dominant. The man who killed my brother. Are you absolutely certain? I've seen him every night for the past 13 years. Watched as the flames of his icon took Joshua. Look out! Dead? I'm here, and so's Togo. Don't worry about us. You've been waiting for this. Go! Sid! Forgive me. Now, I know there would be some timey-wimey fucky-wucky here, but, like, it could be Joshua. Given that, like, his icon was the Phoenix, and it's all about rebirth. Go? It could be Joshua. Going as fast as I can.
up. That did fuck all. Halfway. Use Garuda's deadly embrace on partially sacred, sacred enemies to topple it. That's exactly what I was doing. I'm not kicking her ass. I think I can get near her, so I'm just gonna pelt her with magic. Oh, okay. Look got a little bigger than I thought. I almost forgot which buttons I needed to press. Woo. Okay, she's kicking my ass. Eleven thousand. I do have high potions still, though. So it's not as dire as it looks. Oh, straight off, Jesus. Noise. Good 
55 sharp fangs? Holy crap. Well, that's not fair. You're nothing. A monster. And I will not let you stand in my way. Chose a good stream title for tonight. Listen, you got a lot of yelling after Clive. Melee attack, range attack, evade is okay. It's the same. It's the same. That's the same. Can be confirmed on the abilities tab in the main menu. Melee combo, a pummel, fireball. All right. You gonna let me get in range? Guess not. There we go. Hell yeah. Hundred and five thousand, jeez. Are we mashing? Or mashing? Oh, almost. 
got her. I lunged though. And I hate you too. Gerudo wants to move fast. She can move pretty fast. I would love to see there's no way to do this unless you're a dev I guess on the game itself is this same thing but the camera is not like shaky cam like hand shaky cam just have it like smooth and just like see what the difference is because part of me wants to say that like the shaky cam just like it's already like can get kind of hard to know like like, I know what's happening, but, like, to see the exact details of what's happening can sometimes get kind of difficult with all the details going on. And it would help if the camera wasn't, like, like this constantly. And that's just, like, the standard that people tend to do in, like, action scenes to make it more dynamic. But I specifically remember watching a fight scene recently from... Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. And like, a lot of the camera work was really steady and still. And it really let you see what the hell was going on. And it just like made the fighting even more impressive because you could actually see and appreciate what you were looking at. Especially with the fact that the screen is just like gyrating, gyrating colors. Like it's, it's just, I can't see the details of what's happening. I can, I can, like, I, like, I, I'm not, I understand the gist. The power of the icon Garuda made manifest. The shard of crystal is light as a feather and can be heard to emit a soft hum when held to the ear.
I don't know what it is about Ramu, but he's just so fucking cool in every game. Like, Ramu was easily the coolest one in 15 as well. And they made him look like decrepit, like super decrepit old too, and I was like, that, that made it even cooler, honestly. Maybe it's just because he's classic wizard, you know? You're too nice is your problem. Bloody mess, this. Is he talking to himself there? Jason, it was inside you all along. <laughs> They'll be damned if I know what that means. Why did you have to listen to him? Benner. This can't be what you wanted, can it? Not bad. Not bad for her. She's obviously evil. But you know. Okay. King is bold or desperate. Will you engage him personally, Your Highness? Of course. Which icon does this guy have? Grigor's breath fill your wings. What's that? Bahamut vs. Odin? I'm here for this. So these supposed to be light and dark.
So it's supposed to be eight, right? Not counting Ifrit. So I got Phoenix, Garuda, Ramu, Bahamut Odin, probably Leviathan for water, Titan, and... We have water, fire. Oh, and Shiva. Reform the cohorts. At once. So we just need to see Leviathan and we've seen them all. Your Highness. Saboteurs. Their attacks are frequent and widespread, even in the Holy Capital. The capital? What if my father is His radiance is safe. But he has ordered the city guard strengthened. We can expect no reinforcements. That is of no matter. The Emperor's safety is paramount. I shall deal with our enemies here. Wait, is that Clive? It said sometime later. Maybe Sid put him there for safety. Oh wait, this is in like Sid's Kaido, isn't it? Ah, you're awake. You're just full of surprises. First that trick with Garuda, then whatever the hell that other thing was. Didn't know you had it in you. Do it. Hey. Kill me. It was me. I killed him. I killed Joshua. I killed them all. I'm a monster. And I deserve to die. So end it. End it now. Please. Please. What? Why is Clive naked? I reckon I can take you. If that's what you want. But first, I thought I'd give you the benefit of my timeless wisdom. It seems to me, you see, that since you're still breathing, you might as well make yourself useful. Get dressed. Pretty as you are, you're not my type. I'll, uh, see you in the hall. Quest lock. There are certain times in the game that side quests will become temporarily unavailable until progress has been made through the main scenario. Okay. May as well hear what he has to say. Don't go making me throw you back in there now, eh? 
Make it quick. So, what it be? Ooh. So, spurred by her cries, did wind become storm? No scratches, right? That it? Fine. Look what the curl dragged in. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on, then. Gold work sash. Like, uh, that's something that'll keep, that can get upgraded a bit. It'd better all be here. Same with this. You'll not find a better price than that. Breath of Rend Rook's Gambit. Eh, nah. Uh, I will buy two. It'd better all be here. Can I see I'm busy here? What's saying for you, dear? Um, what am I wearing? Looks like I can't upgrade them, which means equipping them was stupid. Anything else? I assumed it would just give me, it would unlock gold work. That's what it was. I assumed it would just unlock upgrades for them, but I guess not yet. Well, maybe, I, okay, it looks like, based on the UI, I would say I can equip three different icons at a time. So I won't eventually be cycling through, like, six of them, and then I have, like, 12 abilities that are constantly off cooldown. That makes sense. Finally crawled out of the crypt, eh? You look like it. Although I thank you for doing us the courtesy of covering up. Don't. Well... Huh? Still have a bit of fight left in you? Then listen, I've arranged a meeting with Gav. In case you've forgotten, you're the one he's been putting his nose to work for. For nothing. Just listen. While you've been relaxing in your cell, Gav's been busy sniffing out your dominance. And according to his last report, he's picked up a scent. Gav's gone to a fair bit of trouble for you. The least you can do is hear the poor bugger out. He's going to meet us at the King's Fall. Pack your stuff. We'll leave as soon as you're ready. Come on. Gav will be waiting for us. Get your stuff together. All right, all right, all right. New arcade mode things. Okay. Just making the dots go away. What's this? Thirds is? Here you, newcomer. Why don't you join me for a drink? Hmm. hmm. What else did I get? I want for free, apparently. The sound of silence. Is this the sad one? Oh, it's literally just the sound of silence. It's nice to see the hideaway finally coming alive. It wasn't so long ago us old hands were ratting up on the place like... <laughs> had so many uses. And how might this old soul... If you have a question for me, I didn't think we got much. Happy but got more to read. That's I got so much more to read. Gav, Sid's a faithful scout who puts his legendary nose to work in tracking the movements of slavers, soldiers, and any other object of interest to the hideaway. The ever agreeable fellow, only too gladly delving behind enemy lines if he can get a good story or two out of it. 
A hooded man, a mysterious man that many believe to be a dominant of fire. Clive first saw him at Phoenix Gate on the night of the Imperial Invasion, and for years believed him to be the dominant of the icon that killed his brother. But to Clive's eternal chagrin, he has proved otherwise. An Imperial bearer turned deserter who joined forces with Sid to hunt down the second Dominant of Fire. However, after being drawn into a fierce battle with Benedicta, Dominant of Garuda, the power of the mysterious icon Ifrit awakes within him and he discovers that the Dominant of Fire he has long been searching for, the one who killed his brother, was none other but himself. Ifrit, a fire-aspected icon that first emerged in the year of the Realm 860, when Imperial forces attacked the Rosarian stronghold at Phoenix Gate. Clad in infernal flame, the fiendish, fiendish creature flung, him, flung itself against the phoenix, overpowering the icon with a strength and ferocity never seen before. Its reappearance was to usher in a second shocking revelation that its dominant was none other than Clive Rossfield. I don't know how anyone could see what we saw and ever think otherwise. The Warden of the Wind, who Benedicta transformed into during her ill-fated flight from the Empire, it takes the form of a fearful harpy summoning storms and tearing into the flesh of its prey with hawk-like talons. Its dominant is most often born among the, the descendants of the Motes of Wind, an ancient tribe that once dwelled in the land spanning the Strait of Altha, what is now called the Crystalline Dominion. Battle of Belenus Tor, the Battle of Benel, 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 Belenus Tor was a conflict fought between the Holy Empire of Sambreke and the Kingdom of Alud in the year 873. Having lost vital territory to Sambrekwa forces eight years earlier in the Battle of the Twin Realms, the Waluders launched an assault on the eponymous peak, looking to regain a foothold in the Imperial lands on the opposite side of the Strait of Altha. Both sides fielded their icons, and in, and in the ensuing showdown between Odin and Bahamut, an entire Sambrekwa legion was lost, and the Waluders regained their outpost on Storm. All right, all right. Let's read some mysteries of the realm. Crystal, one of the most valuable materials known to mankind, thanks to its ability to channel ambient ether from the air, allowing those without an innate power to do so to cast magics. And as most Valisteans cannot live without magic, its supply and distribution is heavily regulated by governments across the Twins. A given shard can only channel a certain amount of ether before it shatters, so the need for new crystals is incessant. Crystal rations. Shards of crystal small enough to be held in the hand, which allow those who are not born bearers to cast magics. The nations of the twins see such shards mined from the mother crystals and distributed to the populace so that every man and woman of good character, bearers, criminals, and other undesirables not included, might enjoy the gift of magic. It is common for people to keep them about their persons in a protective case. They mine them for the mother crystals. Wouldn't that have... That wouldn't... Do the mother crystals grow over time? Because otherwise, I'd, if you're constantly chipping it off and divvying it out, you're going to run out of mother crystal. Relatively quickly. I mean, I don't know how big they are, but you know. Maybe they're so massive that no one thinks about that. Municipal shards. Large shards of crystal that are entrusted to towns and cities across Valisteia in order to serve the populace. Where those shards rationed out to individuals might suffice to fill a cup or light an oven, municipal shards fill wells, fire forges, and light the streets of the great cities of the Twins. Ether, the life force of the land and the source of all magic. The amount of ether a spell consumes depends on its strength, with those manifesting more potent forces over a wider area coming at a greater cost. Larger crystals can channel more ether than smaller ones and thus can be used to cast more powerful magics. One might use a small rationed shard to grill a fish, but would require a large municipal crystal to fire a blacksmith's forge. Magic, the art of channeling ether to make one's imagination manifest. This can take the aspect of one of the eight elements, fire, water, wind, earth, ice, thunder, light, and dark, or more rarely, be unaspected. While bearers and dominants can cast spells at will, others require a crystal to do so. Magic is a part of everyday life for the people of Alistair, making it all but unlivable when they are deprived of its gift. The Blessing of the Phoenix The boon Joshua bestowed upon his brother upon Clive's ordination as first shield, allowing him to wield fire-aspected magic without a crystal. It has long been custom in Rosaria for the Dominant of the Phoenix to share a part of their power in this way, performing this rite of rejuvenation upon those they appoint as their protectors that they might serve them the better. One, one more, one more. 
Icon, magical beings of godlike strength who dwell within human hosts known as dominants, only emerging when the dominant primes. History records eight icons in total, each with unique elemental affinity. One warden of, of uh, one warden each of fire, water, thunder, ice, wind, earth, light, and darkness. So, Phoenix, Leviathan, I assume. Ramu, Shiva, Garuda, Titan, Bahamut, Odin. The common belief that two icons of the same element cannot co coexist was shaken by the appearance of a second icon of fire during the Imperial attack on Phoenix Gate. There's so many things to read. Did you learn everything you needed? No. No, not yet. No. There's so many. You know what? I haven't saved. I keep forgetting this, thing. this game has a manual save. Alright, where are we going? Yeah, we got pretty close to where, where, whatever this place is. The King's Fall. Here's, here tumble the waters of the Empire's brooks and burns to converge into a single resplendent cataract where Bygone King is said to have lost both life and kingdom. I haven't had to, uh, there hasn't really been any side quests aside from like the ones at the beginning that were like tutorials but like this is how a side quest works there hasn't been any since I wonder if the game is going to open up in any way or if it's fairly just linear all the way through not so long ago this here was a thriving trade route then the blight came the people left and just like that, it was deserted, making it the perfect little shortcut. Gab's waiting for us up ahead. Come on. Still feeling sorry for yourself? Don't. Please, think about it, Clive. The rumors all point to... That was an Imperial signal. They shouldn't be here. The old fort's been abandoned for years. Our little chat can wait. I need to see what the bastards are up to. You go on ahead and meet up with Gav. But we both know that... No buts about it. Clive is understandably broody. an item. I take an item. <laughs> pet Torgo five times. I have pet Torgo more than five times. What the fuck? I knew there was an achievement attached, though. This is stupid. I'm the dominant of fire. We sent Galv on a wild goose chase. Okay. There's no map. But... The King's Fall. Located in western Sembrecke near the Rosarian border, the King's Fall is a towering cataract fed by the waters of multiple converging tributaries. Though these waters long played an integral part in the lives of nearby settlers, an influx of displaced beasts fleeing from the blight has forced many to abandon their claim to the resource. That does like fuck all for damage. But it would be really good when you stagger an enemy. To like increase the multiplier. It's over.
I might try a different one. Uh, let's see. I could try Rook's Gambit. I would want that on a... The other one, though. Because like this one's a counter, and then this one's a counter. So like if they're if they're on the same same button, it makes more sense. <laughs> the reason why I items all the time is all these all these items on the ground. They're never potions anymore. Oh, no. They're all materials of things. up I'm not scared of you oh that hurt though I think the heal just does a regen for like my um the, like faded part of the bar. Dodged him. I feel like I have too many abilities. Am I just... Not that it's hard to use them all. It's that... I just have endless tools at my disposal, like already, to just destroy enemies. Another perfect little shortcut, Sid. Straight to a nest of bloodthirsty beasts. Is that a, is that a problem? I don't have a problem with this. It's a pretty shortcut, though. Like, come on. Can't be much further now. I completely miss. Because they're all in the air and shit.
Oh. <laughs> so I was like, if I don't go down, where, I, where do I go? Collateral cyclone. I forgot how to change targets. I swear it was just like. Just like turn the camera or whatever, but it didn't go. Okay, I'm getting hit by this too much. Oh, I didn't dodge it. What? How, how was that not precision dodge and all that? I'm just, I keep letting that hit me, and that's why I'm, like, nearly dead. My wounds, boy. Got a high potion out of it, so that's fine. Nice. Probably get some new armor at some point. <laughs> I guess they'll notice the brand regardless. Collateral cyclone. A dragoon, my favorite class. Does that belong to him? There he is. Don't let him escape. Kill the deserter. Good job, Sid. Clive. What's the situation? You're late. Go to trouble! What? The Imperials are on his tail. We have to get to him before they do. Understood. I'm here to even the odds. Any objections? 
I'll take the dragon. You take the dragoon. <laughs> Oh, I did it too early. Best damage, but I didn't have any of my um, my fire abilities up. He literally did just take care of the dragon on his own, so that's cool. Deadly takedown. There we go. Mirage dive. That's such that's such a weak move in Dragoon's kit now. In 14. It's def it definitely ain't this, that's for sure. When could these bastards fly? But what goes up must come down. Ooh. Free stagger? Free stagger. Come on, let's finish him off. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, my defense went up by three this time. Oh, and my vitality. Come on. I got like iconic shift abilities and, and stuff. must really hurt because that's his injured arm. There. Ah. 
Clive doesn't have your nose, I said. He'd stumble off a cliff, I said. That's a trouble with a nose like mine. Can't help sticking it where it's not wanted. But if it wasn't for you two, my sniffing days would be over. Thank you. Truly. So, what news? Well, I uh, found out where your friend's heading, for one thing. Gav, I... Him and his mate are on their way to your old stomping ground. Rosaria. You should have seen what they did to the Imperials who tried to stop them. There's no question about it. He's a dominant fire, all right. He can't be. Clive, I saw you turn into an icon before my very eyes. And yes, there's a good chance it was you who killed the Phoenix. But we weren't alone, were we? It was the fellow you saw enter the whirlwind. I... I saw him too. You didn't dream it, Clive. He's out there. But... who is he? Don't ask me. I don't bloody know. But I do know one thing. You're gonna find him and find out. After all, you swore an oath. What? You swore you'd avenge your brother's death. That you'd never rest until you'd hunted down the man responsible. So? Find out if this man's responsible, and kill yourself if he's not. Sid, I... Solid logic. Don't thank me. Thank Gav. <laughs> thank you, Gav. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> Gav is 100% into No class. birds returning this year. That wasn't a joke by Sid. The deadlands have swallowed their roosts, like as not. We're running out of time. We'll be in Rosaria in a day or two. I saw blonde hair. I'm pretty sure... I'm assuming this is Joshua. Back to where it all began. How exactly? With, like... The past? Don't know. I assume it's some Phoenix-related resurrection power. Yeah, that's Joshua. Like, he looks like he's from Kingdom Hearts, though. He must be stopped. With the long hair and the robe, I was like, this looks like Organization 13. to the hideout, I suppose. Spitting great gouts of fire, you was like a bleeding volcano. Ever seen a volcano? What? You think I'm having you Clive! on? Clive! Your friend! She's awake! I forgot about- I forgot she was even here. Right. Go to her, you fool. <laughs> right, you lot. Enough slacking. Goots, come with me. Gav, go and get those wounds seen to. Oh, oh, give it to me straight. How long have I got? So? All in good time. Let's make ourselves scarce. Jill. What was that about? She wants, she wants gossip, but like, gossip about what exactly? Why is there a Moogle here? Isn't the Moogle funny? <laughs> they even have a Moogle. I've never seen one in the flesh. I'm sure it's said in my father's bestiary that they live deep in the forest. 
and that they never reveal themselves to humans. Nectar the bull. What do you say? Clive. So it would seem. Wait. That sounds painful. <laughs> My pom pom is safe at last. All right, well, there's a Moogle. Let's do a proper save. I gotta save more often. Oh. Whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I gotta save more often, though. Is there a hard... I don't know if I'd want a harder difficulty, actually. Is there one, though? Maybe on a New Game Plus thing. It's like, you beat the game, now you can play in hard mode. Actually, I did... I think I heard that was a thing. People were... Oh, I forgot I had, like, redeemable items. I'm, I'm not gonna use them. Like, I'm already, I'm already kicking ass anyway. I will grab the song, though. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll claim them, but I'm not going to use the weapons or anything. I might use this. I would totally use this. Get some more gear. I'm not going to wear it all the time, but like, if I'm like, oh, I need more money, I'll put it on and go grind some money. Healed. Yes. Thaya told me what happened. You saved my life. After nearly taking it, I had no idea. Forgive me, but how did you ever come to be there, Jill? Fighting for them. The Iron Blood. They invaded not long after the news arrived about Fink's Gate. Rosaria had lost her leaders. The duchy was in chaos. The Iron Kingdom saw our weakness and pounced upon it. They killed the men and captured the women. And took you back to Iron Home. I thought they meant to have their fun with me before the end. But the end never came. My powers awoke and everything changed. It all happened so fast. We were told that the Iron Blood had captured a dominant and planned to bring her on their latest crusade. Mm. They gave me a choice. To fight for them on the battlefield, or see my countrywomen slaughtered. And they call us dominance. What? <sighs> what happened to Clive? What happened at Phoenix Gate?
It was me. I killed Joshua. No, that's not true. I know you, you wouldn't do that. It's the truth. I changed into him again, not long ago. The second icon of fire. The one responsible. <laughs> Clive. When I think back to that night, Goody man, he, he spoke to me. What did he say? Sarsis. We have found you. What did he mean? Clive, we should go back there, to Phoenix Gate. I need to know what really happened, and so do you. You need to know for certain. And if what you told me is true, and you did what you said you did, then we will face it together. Jill, I... All right. You'll be needing a change of clothes, then. Out you go, your lordship. We wouldn't want you getting overexcited. Uh, sorry. I'll see you soon, then, Clive. I should be ready, too. We have a long journey ahead of us. I thought I told you to make yourself scarce. Your friend needs to get dressed. I'm going, I'm going, Jesus. Jesus. I want some new side quests. Some stuff to make. We're looking at half a dozen. Maybe more. Maybe I can upgrade those accessories I bought now. I can leave whenever you're ready. Make it quick. What's that for you, dear? A Gaia blade? What the fuck? Maybe I can buy the level one now from uh, from Karen. Maybe I should wait and see. That it. Fine. But like, I don't I, I want to do all the side things first, but I want to see Karen's shop, so I got to talk to what her. What do you want? To say farewell. We're leaving. It should give me the opportunity to like. Good decision. Hang around in the hideout and do all the things. Out there in the black. You've got a lot to thank that girl for, you know. I know. And I will. Now, what do you really want? We both know you don't come here for conversation. Nor does anybody, I suspect. Okay, I can buy. I didn't really use that storm cry for very long. You'll not find a better price than that. Off you go, then. I'm best of luck. I should probably say thank you to Gav, too. Should probably and also buy want? some potions and stuff. Go on, then. Uh, yeah, I'll buy two of them. You'll not find a better price than that. See, I'm busy here. Yeah? What's saying for you, dear? All right. Uh, reinforce. Do my best work. Guy but plus I'm one. Yeah, Guy plus two. Do, yeah. Then we got gold work. Do my best work. But it'll do. Yeah, that should do you. And. My best work, but it'll do. Oh, I can't do, um... Battle chain plus two. Oh, it needs... I mean, I have to go to buy those things. It's and... just, uh... Aaron doesn't sell materials. 
Right? Or do you sell yes. them now? If you're gonna buy some, it'd be quick about it. Yeah, you oh know, she God. doesn't she don't sell those Lord materials. God. I could just go Go to Lost Ring right now, actually. Yeah, I just kept thinking the shop was like over there. How did the grocer know his not have been stealing off to the vineyard to see the lad? What can I interest you in today? Uh oh man. I mean I'll buy another like fifteen of these, but I trust it's all here. We're right next to Gaff. Let's talk to him. So your mind's made up, is it? We'll be leaving for Rosaria as soon as we're able. Back down memory lane, eh? Rosaria ain't what she used to be, Clive. And not since the Imperials moved in. First sign of trouble, you make straight for Martha's rest and ask for the landlady. She's a friend of the cause. Tell her you was Sid, and she'll help you out. Understood. Thank you, Gav. Yeah. I'd be lost without you. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. No need to make such a fuss. You take care, all right? He's so flustered. Oh, I'm crap at goodbyes. Where's Sid when you need him? Give him my regards when he gets back. I will. This isn't gonna like propel me and force me out of the hideout, is it? Sorry to keep you waiting. Very Shiva Ready, appropriate. My lady. Ready. Okay, I okay. As long as it didn't lock me out of the hideout, because like I didn't do the side quest yet. Come on, Clive. Let's go to Phoenix Gate. I need to know what really happened that night. Thought you were on your way to Phoenix Gate. Don't tell me you got cold feet. Jill's only just risen from her sickbed, remember? She needs looking after. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh I needed a meteorite, right? So I still can't upgrade the sash. Well saying for you, dear. Oh, and it needs magic to Wait. Wait, I have that whole oh, was it the cuff? No, it was no no no, it was the battle chains. Yeah, I need a mat I need a a meteorite. I can't buy one. Anything else? Sage. But anyways, it is that time of night. We need to stop, so I'm gonna stop. Uh I can't stream for the next two nights, because I'm raiding. I'll be back Tuesday. Maybe Monday, I don't know. Maybe I'll just like bounce early from raiding and play Monday. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. So anyways, if you enjoyed your time here, feel free to follow if you've not done so already. But until next time, thanks for hanging out. <laughs>